Before we start the reaction video, always remember to support the original content creator by using the links in the description below. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Axel Grave back with more reactions with an X, and today we are continuing on Volume 5, Chapter 12, no, 13 of Ruby? Yeah, 13, Downfall. So we only got this and one more, and then we're done with this season, and we go on to 6, and then 7, and then we're caught up. We got some Ruby Chibi and some side stuff, but we're very close approaching. It'll be maybe another month or two, and we'll be all caught up with Ruby. Um, and then after that, we'll have to find something else to watch. So if you guys have any suggestions, I'm always looking forward to them. Uh, for now... I'm going to get into this episode after telling you that you should support Ruby and Rooster Teeth by clicking the links in the description below. They deserve it. You should like, comment, and subscribe if you are enjoying yourself or you just want to critique or comment, give a compliment. Either way, we enjoy all that cri uh, constructive criticism being our favorite kind of critique. But hey, you know, it's a free world. You can rip us to shreds. And sometimes we really deserve it. Uh, I'm really looking to see how this ends up. I'm really wanting a lot of the time for these villains to be more ruthless and I understand it's a kid's show so like you're not going to just be popping people's heads off left and right and, and disemboweling children or something but you know uh, uh, the, the, the cinder that I like from well not like but love to hate uh, is the cinder that is you know what I mean heartless and manipulative and cruel and efficient in a way you know what I mean she's done well and i think that salem is the even bigger version of that like she's the mastermind overarching uses people likes to take like use up her pawns and throw them away uh, someone in the comments had mentioned that like well why not you know why she doesn't just crush everyone is because she likes to make them fight themselves and not waste her own power i kind of like that idea of like this power that is just having fun toying with people uh it's a really cool idea to just think for me at least to think that Salem's already won like nobody likes that right nobody likes to think oh maybe at the end of the series Salem wins but that would be a really shocking thing you wouldn't expect to happen right <laughs> I wouldn't want Salem to win but honestly as a watcher I think that would be the in most interesting ending you could have to this to have it be like nah Salem was always like gonna win in the end and she just played it out obviously they probably won't do that uh, they have that whole thing going on with Ruby's go God mode backstory, the silver eyes that we haven't talked about. John, finally, I think that's his semblance healing. Hopefully that was what it was as he showed it last time. It was coming off his hands to her, so I assume it's him. I assume it's healing because her wound disappeared. I could be wrong. Who knows? It might just be a, uh, a big illusion from Emerald for all I know, right? But you can't control illusions that big, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, episode 13. We're going to start in three, two, and clicky button. Oh, I forgot. We will uh, we will watch the intro on the last episode. Like the very last episode. Can I, can I please get this to do? Why are you so bad, Crunchyroll? You guys know what I mean? Like, Jesus, Crunchyroll. Ah, there we go. It's been a long day of filming, guys. I think I've already filmed, like... Shoot. I don't even know. Probably, like, two hours worth. Just between those ones and that. Yeah, probably... That was 20, 20, 20, 20. Probably like two hours and a half hours of filming stuff today. Just the filming and I it's got a bunch of stuff going Ugh, and then I get comic combos. Here we go, fighting two on two. Uh oh. She what has been do? trained, right? So there's preface for this. Whenever it takes to shut you up. You guys doing okay? So once again, the earlier fight between her and him I would always assumed she was loose because once again, she didn't have she, she. That was the first time I felt like she really showed big parts of it too, where she just didn't have a lot of skill without her weapon. Right. How else do you think you're healing her, dummy? Look at your hands, man. No, I don't think I'm healing her. Her aura heals her bodies. She's powering her aura. It feels more like I'm using my aura to amplify hers. Wait, aren't you worried about running out? Pierre once told me I've got a lot of it. I 
That's what she said. He had a lot of aura. Not that he was necessarily special. I mean, that's special. Everybody's special. Special just means unique. Ooh. That's kind of what I assumed was going to happen. I mean, once again, Emerald and uh, Mercury more understandable to fight and beat. Although, you guys are saying, well, they were losing on purpose in the first one, which... You know, could be seen that way, but that's an inference, not a outright statement on some of those. Lightning gives her power. She's gonna mess him up. See, that makes sense. So much dust into his body. That's an interesting semblance. I was gonna ask what he could do, but because I, I did, I figured that was dust. They he just in, you know stabbed right in. I was gonna say, you supercharger of electric dust. She's gonna f you up, dude. More types. Yep, red. So now that will give him a different type that she won't be able to absorb, probably. Which was what I was afraid of. Stay focused. Our friends are almost done here. Adam! There she is. I was waiting for that. I knew, like I said, I knew she wouldn't have arrived when we did like 11, I said so, but I knew she'd come in an episode or two. Wait. <laughs> to think that I went through so much trouble to find you, only to have you deliver yourself to me. This isn't what's right for the Faunus. Stop what you're doing and we can end this peacefully. You could. You're wrong, Blake. And you can't stop us. No, I can't. But we can. Not by myself. Hey, look, she didn't use a classic trope line. Come oh, come on. Use the element of surprise. Just what? kidding. Who's there? You can't use the element of surprise. Well, you can and can't, right? And it's not like you could just totally get a surprise attack. This, is, this cannot be all of his white fang that he brought with him. Yep, they informed him, they brought people out. Together, right? Together you can challenge these large problems. And that's one of the best parts about Ruby. Is that it's not all about Ruby, right? It's Ruby, but it's not just about Ruby Rose. It's about the whole Ruby team, the whole Ruby world, universe. Oh, she's supercharged now, right? So you're going to bring out a giant... There's gotta be some other card coming though. There's another shoe. For all of us. Hey, wait. Huh? What are you doing? Trying to get us all killed? I am making humanity pay for what they've done! We sent someone over to confirm your explosives. And once we did, she disarmed them. Yeah, re redemption. Redemption, girl. And using her power, obviously, to do it secretly. This is your business, not mine. Fix it. I told you, Adam. It's 
it's over. So there's got to be another shoe. He's he's got to either have. Is she gonna take him? I didn't expect that. One, I don't expect her to be strong enough at all to defeat this guy. I guess with his emotions out of check. But once again, if he was able to like noob stomp Yang. So then it is like, uh, man, they really are fanatics. Hello, Ice Scorpion. No, the oh, the killer moth thing that she killed with her ice thing. So I assume that means her ice version is probably stronger than the original version of the monster, right? Can't feel it, right? Left the arm. Oh, just give him a little more help. Cause Cinder does have whatever the black thing is that lets her absorb powers, which is probably from Salem, Salem's power of some type. And that I could see her giving the fight. The last spring maiden must have trusted you a great deal before she died. I bet that was a mistake. Oh. I forget which one they said was the strongest maiden. Was it wasn't the spring, was it? One that had just more you no, know, maybe they weren't any stronger than the others. Oh, she has a grim arm. You turned yourself into a monster just for power. Look who's talking. I don't know if ravens are monsters. I'm pretty sure they're birds. Birds. Maybe. I know she's not speaking like actually she's speaking probably metaphorically, but I'm just saying. Birds. cool that she's you can see her using the different colors of blades blue green they switch blades there maybe not see now this is a battle that I feel like is maiden worthy this is pretty impressive they're floating in the air they're causing you know what I mean that this is a little more impressive here I like this this, this puts them at a level that makes them a very big threat to any even group of individuals. A high level of mobility, a high level of AoE, and singular focus point damage output DPS. She has extra stuff as well. Oh, it's stealing the power. Nice song. Really good fight scene here. Probably one of the most impressive I've ever seen in Ruby, if not the most. Just even based, not even just like the animation itself, but the camera angles are excellent. The movement and pacing is very good here. The use of coloring, awesome stuff. Almost out. There's gotta be another shoe dropping though. Hers too though. So they're both kind of falling short. Not falling short, but wearing down. You'd remember to watch your back. Bad. 
There you go. Once again, I really do respect the shit out of her. Because Raven is very calculating, cold, and methodical things. She doesn't trust them. She doesn't... That doesn't mean she's dead, though. That's classic anime law. If someone falls off a cliff into nothing, they may or may not be dead. Yeah, unfortunate. I didn't say she was a good person, just that she was a calculating, cold, and smart person. Here's the problem. I think the other shoe that drops is that something might happen to you when you open these doors. Things that are sealed for hundreds of years usually are not the greatest things when opened. Just saying bad stuff, man. Think of the pyramids! I don't know if there were actually traps in the pyramids or if that's bullcrap, but... I thought I had read that there were actual traps in some pyramids for mm, looters and stuff. Okay, that's lighting up. See, what if what's behind each of the doors is a piece of Cinder's real body? That's a cool door. Nope, it's a dimension to another world! In the middle of a desert somewhere in a pocket dimension. Who knows? We have no clue where this place is. Mythology could go way farther. And then... Yang. Huh. Didn't think about that. I knew she was on her way, but they put so much action in there, I just didn't think of it. Uh, as always, guys, uh, thanks for watching with us. This has been great. This one really shored up some of those things that were bothering. Once again, uh, like, for instance, Raven, cruel and ruthless. Granted, she didn't actually deal her, but her actions she took were in the attempt to end Cinder's life, right? Throw, freezing her and throwing her off a cliff. If she lives through that, it wasn't because Raven didn't try to kill her. Raven tried to kill her, right? Uh, whether or not she's dead is a whole nother issue. Um, but I, once again, that, and not saying that, you know, Ruby and them should do that, right? Because they're the good guys. They're young and naive. I'm not saying everyone should be like that. I'm saying there are characters I expect to be like that. And so when they are for like villains, anti-heroes, even John, right? When he was trying to stab Cinder in the eye. Yeah, he has character motivation to kill her. So when he does so and it makes his character feel more real. You know what I mean? Uh, I appreciate those kinds of things that, that you, you know, uh, it's, that's what, what uh, I call lazy writing is when you change a character their personality, right? It doesn't feel like a character or make a choice. It feels like they're making a choice to move along your point of the story as opposed to the story being motivated by the character's personality and decisions. Um, and there's a lot of examples of that in any anime and manga, but like some of them are opposite, right? Like for example, why do things good and bad having what well, Goku likes to let the enemies get as strong as they can? But that's a character thing that's been built in him so that they can do that, right? You build them in to make them natural and feel better. Oh, man. I can't wait to finish this one. We got one more episode, guys. For now, thanks for watching. Check the links to support Ruby. Check the links to support us. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And have a great day. Appreciate you all. Thanks, everyone, for watching another episode of Reactions with an X with me, your host, Axel Grave. I appreciate every single view and every single comment on these videos. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit like to show your support and hit subscribe to see more reaction videos. If you like the other content we do on the channel, remember to hit the little bell and press all to see all of our videos. Finally, if you wanted to leave us a comment or a suggestion on other material we to do, or just to rip us to shreds, leave a note in the comments and we'll try to get back to you.